Welcome back. Some sad news out of Hollywood this morning about the action star Bruce Willis. His family confirming the diehard actor has been diagnosed with dementia. Joining us now, entertainment reporter Sam Rubin and neuroscientist Dr Rahul Jandial. Thank you both for your time this morning. Now, Sam, let's come to you first. The star's family made the announcement on social media this morning. What have they had to say? Well, we'll uh, tell you, Sarah, precisely what they had to say. We knew that Bruce was not in good mental health. They had made an earlier statement regarding his initial diagnosis and now a new firmer, clearer diagnosis, one that, uh, as a layperson, is completely uh, dementia. Since we announced Bruce's diagnosis of aphasia in spring of 2022, Bruce's condition has progressed, and now we have a more specific diagnosis, uh, front or temporal dementia. So uh, that, of course, is coming from his wife. Um, uh, Bruce has worked almost tirelessly for the last several years, sort of these <clears throat> drop-ins in <clears throat> various uh, low-budget action movies, for which he's been paid often a million or two or three for just a few days' work. So he's been a very productive mm. earner, but people on the sets of those movies say he has not been yeah. himself uh, for quite some time. He's mm. so incredibly popular uh, in Hollywood and also uh, with the public. Mm. Um, Dr. Rahul, can you explain uh, what that form of dementia is? Well, we usually think of dementia as Alzheimer's, but there are many types of dementia. Alzheimer's is the most common. This one called frontotemporal dementia is the second most common, and the name describes where the brain withers. So frontal lobe, which has to do with personality and thinking, but also temporal lobe, which has to do with language. Mm -hmm. And for him, that's how I think we, Sam and I talked about it last year. He started having trouble getting words out, and that's part of the temporal lobe that led to his dementia findings. And now this diagnosis gives them a sense of trajectory, treatment, what happens next, what has happened with people in the past. Mm. And I guess paint a picture of that for us, uh, Doctor, because I guess this condition is likely to impact his work. Right. So this is a tough one to recover from. Frontotemporal dementia is more severe than Alzheimer's. And when you have language disability here that begins with that temporal lobe wearing away, that's hard to get back. So communication by itself will be challenging, but it'll also be associated with a lot of personality and other language issues. Mm. Sam, um, thank you, Doctor. Sam, um, it's such a legacy of work he has. Um, I, I guess it's going to be very tough for him to come back and, and, and work anymore, as the doctor is saying, um, but such a legacy. Extraordinary legacy. And, and in effect, uh, his family announced his retirement based on that initial diagnosis several months ago. But I think we think all of us back to moonlighting and moonlighting led to Die Hard and Die Hard led to an extraordinary film career. And it was the personality you're seeing here with Conan O'Brien and so many other places. Mm. I think Bruce Willis, uh, as much as any leading man, really endeared himself, not only just to the Hollywood community, but to audiences worldwide mm. and worked uh, over 130 credits I mean, he never, ever stopped working. Mm. Maybe the caliber of the movies diminished, but I don't think his star has dimmed. Now, though, the retirement was announced prior to this diagnosis, and listening to what Dr. John Dale says, it seems to me very unlikely he would be back in front of the cameras. Mm. Good on you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get you some entertainment news now and some sad news out of Hollywood this morning. Actor Bruce Willis has been diagnosed with dementia. Let's bring Richard Wilkins for more on this. I mean, Dickie, I suppose last year there was sort of warming us up to this news was coming, that he was had this sort of debilitating disease, but now yeah. this is the, I guess, what we didn't want to hear. Yeah, very sad. Good morning to you. Well, it was just the, uh, last year that uh, it was announced that he had a, a, aphasia. Um, today, his wife Emma has uh, shared the news on Instagram. She says, since we announced Bruce's diagnosis of aphasia in spring 2022, almost a year ago, Bruce's condition has progressed and we now have a more specific diagnosis, dementia. It is frontotemporal um, amnesia, which is a kind of an umbrella term uh, that covers a whole lot of brain disorders affecting um, personality, behaviour and language. So, you know, he's, he's not well, clearly. Oh. Uh, he has retired from actor 67 years of age. Such a, a great actor, made so many wonderful films and television series. A charismatic movie star. Oh, Die Hard. Great muso, too. I remember yep. when he came out Bruno. For, the, for the opening of Planet Hollywood. That we put a big truck right across George Street in the middle of Sydney. He was up there playing his heart. Just a lovely, lovely guy. Uh, you know, living the dream, full life, great actor, and uh, now with dementia, it's very sad. So cruel, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs>
Okay. What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about? Always happens.